So today we're looking at the Woodside Guitar Support from Woodside Guitars. Here's the guitar support. And what I'll do in this video is I'll do a close up of the guitar support so you can see what it looks like and all the features on it. And then I'll attach it to my guitar so you can see what um, the adjustability is like and what it looks like on the instrument. And then I'll talk about some pros and cons, mostly pros for this one, but there's one um, larger concern. So make sure you, you see that portion of the video. And then I'll also be talking about other guitar supports such as the Murata guitar support, which is, um, it's been around for a very long time. And of course it is similar. There's some important design features on this one that are new though. And also another competitor, the HB guitar support, which also uses clamps. So of course this uses clamps instead of suction cups. So that's a huge advantage. It really keeps everything secure on the instrument. On this compared to the Murata guitar support, there's a quick lever to attach and detach it from your instrument. It's more adjustable because you can maneuver the adjustability and angle more on the guitar. And it works on raised fingerboards, which is the big, huge improvement for me. Because I have a raised fingerboard on my guitar, this guitar support can angle its attachments to work on the modern raised fingerboard which gets sloped down on the top, meaning that the width is different here than over here. So let's take a quick close-up look at the guitar support, and then we'll talk about some of the features. So let's take a closer look at the support. So this part rests on your leg, of course, and it's adjustable, so it pivots this way. And you can adjust the height like this. And then this part here, let me bring that in closer. This allows you to adjust the angle of the support on the guitar. So you can kind of, I bet you could even leave it loose if you wanted and let there be some maneuverability. Or you can tighten it once you have the right placement. You can tighten it up and it doesn't move after tightening it. Now, of course, once you put this on the guitar, you can quickly clamp it down with this lever. So that's really convenient and quick. But of course, the most important thing about this guitar support compared to the Murata, for example, is that it will fit on any guitar. So even with a raised fingerboard, which is always a problem with the Murata support, is that it won't fit on guitars where the um, raised fingerboard, there's a tapered top, which I'll show you later, but um, they, they don't always fit. But this one is adjustable, so you can adjust the angle and then clamp it in. So lots of adjustability, lots of maneuverability, and um, there you have it. Really great craftsmanship. You can s let me do some close-ups here. All looks very, very clean. This is nice and soft to protect your guitar, relatively soft. Like the gold and silver color scheme, looks pretty good. So there you have it. Take a look at their logo here, which is also pretty cool. So let's attach it to the guitar now. So you want to attach it on the upper bout here because if you attached it down here, it would, it would put the guitar too far over. So you just place it on here and then you just move this lever and it tightens it onto the instrument. Now you can actually turn this to make the lever, you know, have less pressure or more pressure depending on your the width of your instrument. So that's 
a very important feature because you don't want to clamp too hard, but you don't want to clamp too soft that it's going to come off. So that's an important feature. So you just pop it on, push the lever, and there we have it. It's attached to the guitar. And it's on there really good. Like, it's not going to fall off, especially because the um, gravity is on your side with this guitar support. But even if it wasn't, even if it was hanging upside down, the guitar support stays on. Of course, um, don't tighten it too much. You don't want to damage your instrument. Um, so adjust that lever and just gently push it. It, it. It's not going to come off, so you don't need very much pressure. So you can see it's maneuverable in this way. Oops, let me tighten this up here. It's maneuverable like this, so my guitar can freely move this way as much as it wants. Depending on how tight I make it, I can also pivot the guitar. If you loosen this adjustment, you could pivot lots and very easily, but I would definitely recommend keeping it nice and tight once you find the perfect position. Tighten it up nice and tight, and then you're all secure. I've always loved the feeling of these guitar supports. They're like rock solid on the instrument, so like very, very secure, and the, um, this placement on the leg with this kind of um, velvet on the bottom really makes it not slide around on your leg at all. And it's just all very secure. It feels very, very natural. So like I said, you can adjust this by loosening this here. The guitar support can be adjusted to a slightly different angle. Like if you want your guitar more down or more upright, you can adjust that and then you just tighten it up and there you go. You can also adjust the height. This is low down, and this is as high as it goes, which I'll talk about in a second. So there you go. Excellent design, super secure. I love everything about it. But there's one feature that um, isn't working for me with this one, is that the bar on this is just not long enough for me. I want the guitar probably about this height, but it just doesn't go up high enough. So if I put it to its absolute highest, almost dangerously not attached, this isn't actually quite high enough for my left hand. It might be for a lot of people, but for me personally, um, it's just not up high enough. So the good news is, after trying out the guitar support and finding that it's not quite high enough, I did contact the company and they're coming out with an accessory called the lift kit, which is essentially um, a longer extended bar. So you'll be able to raise the guitar to the desired height. So problem solved. And um, so that sh I'm really looking forward to that. That will make the guitar support um, really, really, really good for me. Um, I would recommend to the company to just include the bar in the actual support. Um, I think that it would be well worth it for customers to receive the guitar support and for it to just work well right out of the box. Um, and if you have to change up the um, the length of the bar, that's that's fine. But it should be you know adjustable for everyone right off the bat. That said, um, other companies like Murata also have like numerous different bars of different lengths. And of course, everyone wants something different. So it's always hard to, uh, to pinpoint what the customer wants exactly. But that's great to hear that they're gonna have an extension bar because this is, a, this is working really, really great. And I have nothing but positive things to say. So once I get that extension bar, I'll be good to go. So that was my main concern. I don't have any other complaints. I love the guitar support. It's fantastic. A couple of other things. Um, that we'll want to discuss is, of course, we talked about the raised fingerboard, so that's really great. It really fits on nicely, and you can really adjust that angle, so it'll work on any instrument. It should work on any instrument. And there's just more maneuverability compared to the Murata guitar support, which really, it does move this way, but um, then it's just up and down, and it doesn't fit on a raised fingerboard. So, although I love simplicity of design, um, with this particular clamp device, simplicity just doesn't cut it because um, you need that adjustability. Um, even though I love this guitar support, it just doesn't work on my guitar because these are not um, adjustable. So um, I haven't used this for years, ever since I got a raised fingerboard. If you don't have a raised fingerboard, you could use either support. But the new, the Woodside one is definitely more maneuver, has more maneuverability and adjustments. 
The HB guitar support, which you'll have seen on my site before, um, is another clamp device, and it goes down on the lower bout, so it just avoids the whole issue altogether. You don't even have to think about raised fingerboards because it goes on the lower bout of the guitar. So this would be a, a big competitor. Um, this, they come out of the Ukraine, and the, um, the support is just so simple and, and so simplistic and, and, and good that um, you, don't, you wouldn't have to worry about any of this. However, again, along with simplicity, you don't have much adjustability in terms of angle. Like You can't pivot the guitar more with the actual guitar support in any way. So not as adjustable, but wonderfully minimal and small. So uh, definitely a strong competitor, but a different guitar support altogether, really. So one last thing we should talk about is that many of you would be concerned about clamping something onto your guitar. Um, the first thing I'll say about that is like violin players uh, use clamp on like on chin rests. Uh, they've been doing that for a long time and their instruments are, are much more expensive than ours. Um, and guitars are built with clamps, so, you know, they get glued together with clamps. Um, that's before the finish gets put on, but nevertheless, it's a structurally strong place where you can attach a support. Um, the material that they use as a protection is quite nice. I don't think it'll do any permanent damage to your guitar, but on soft finishes such as French polish, it might be a concern for some people. For me, I really think that it's just normal wear and tear, like using a footstool and having the guitar rub against your shirt buttons and stuff, you're, it's wear and tear, it's just it's the way it goes. But yeah, sure, after a couple thousand ons and offs, maybe it would kind of affect your finish a bit. So what you can do, if you're worried about that, is just get some of this non-adhesive um, cling vinyl material. I actually have it on my guitar all the time. There's some right here for protecting the guitar against my nails. Um, this stuff, there's specialty ones for classical guitars, but like this stuff costs nothing. It's for kids or something. And you get, you get 15 sheets for like 10 bucks. It's so cheap and so easy. And you, it's not adhesive, so you can just peel it on and off the guitar. So you, could just, you can just place some of that on the instrument if you're worried about damaging the finish, and that should protect your guitar plenty, if that's a concern that you have.